Hey, how's it going? I'm Ivy Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright. Okay, so what are we going to be talking about this week? Um, so at the beginning of the month, beginning of January 2020, I officially retired Echo from Lulu, both in its paperback format and in its ebook format. Now, as of the day that I'm filming this, um, the ebook format has disappeared from Amazon, so that actually happened a lot faster than it did for Hyena Boy, which was a little bit annoying. <laughs> so I wanted it, you know, if it, if it had been as quick as this for Hyena Boy, I'd have been less stressed about the, the re release of Hyena Boy. Um, and it disappeared, like, within about 24 hours, uh, the ebook for Echo kind of disappeared, which kind of surprised me a little, considering how long it took for, um, for Hyena Boy to do the same. Um, the paperback version was still sort of showing on the site, but they're mostly showing as unavailable. Um, I'm currently, <clears throat> as of filming this, uh, going through and doing a new edit um, of Echo, as with Hyena Boy, the major story is changing. Um, there aren't any major changes, uh, uh, major edits sort of going on. It's all about tidying it up, making sure that it flows really well. There might be like a change of dialogue here and there, a uh, little bit cut here, a little bit added there. But it, it's just the same basic story. So it's, it's exactly the same as what I did with Hyena Boy. Um, I mean, not trying to continuity it with anything else because Echo is its own continuity. It's its own, you know, mini standalone story kind of thing. Um, but it's just a case of tidying it up, making sure, you know, that I haven't missed anything, uh, anything like that. And um, so I've, I've mentioned, I think, to you guys before with my editing process, that I use the voice reader on Word as one of the tools for my editing process. Now, when I first did the editing of Echo, um, when I did, when I released Echo, I wasn't using that method yet. Um, and I kind of wish that I did because it actually picks up a lot of mistakes, <laughs> uh, a lot more mistakes than were than when I, you know, I did was with the versions that I went through. And um, bearing in mind the Echo, I, it was the first time I used Grammarly um, to to go through and and pick up on things like that. And the amount of things that, you know, I'm, I'm not impressed with Grammarly. I, it's not a tool for writers. It might be a tool for people who are doing essays, for people who are like business focused um, writing, but it's not a tool for creative writing. Um, it, it picks up on things that it shouldn't pick up on because it's not reading the full sentence. Um, it misses things that it should pick up on, um, which it's supposed to pick up on, uh, because it looks correct in like the two, three words that it's connected to. Um, it's not a good tool for creative writing. I mean, it's it's a good sort of like prelim, but like Heine Boy and um, the colors I see, I don't think I used Grammarly with, with either of them. I think I just used a standard. Uh, spell checker because it did the exact same job. <laughs> I mostly like my my good editing tool was the voice reader because that allowed me to hear how it was sounding and that can help you put the punctuation where you need the punctuation. That can help you double check that you've got the right words. Um, if it doesn't sound right when the sentence is being read, you can double check it um, through various methods. It's a much better editing tool than the spell check and grammar check softwares that you can get. Um, I mean, they say like you should like print it out and you know have a printed copy and, and, and use that um, as an editing tool as well. But who can afford that much paper? <laughs> um, I mean, I, I understand you know that that is a a reliable way of doing it for a lot of people, but. I think the voice reader method also works really well and I wish I'd done this originally with Echo. Um, I'm not picking up like loads and loads of mistakes, um, but it is helping me like go, okay, no, that, that needed to have done that, that needed to have done that, oh, I, I missed it there and I missed it there and I'm picking up on a lot more stuff. So I was originally just planning to do uh, one voice read through 
um, given the fact that I did do Echo's read, um, Isla reads, and I did get like part way through Echo, and I, I had sort of made some some changes to it anyway because I was planning to update it. Um, once I'd sort of finished Isla reads, then I know where Isla reads has kind of disappeared. <laughs> a, a pending pending return at some point. Um, so I'd, I'd sort of started that editing process, but I picked up on even more because this, this, this is what I mean. Like, sight reading it on my page because I, I was actually using the, the book, the paperback version of Echo to, to read through for I uh, reads. And I was still missing things that the voice reader has picked up on um, because, you know, your, your brain does do certain things and having, like, the voice there along with your eyes moving along the line, you pick up so much more. So I was originally just planning to do um, one edit um, with the voice reader. I'm now planning to do two, and depending on how that goes, I might do another one, um, but hopefully two will be enough. Um, I'm almost at the end of the first one now. Um, so fingers crossed that's not gonna take too much longer to do, and then I can start going back and, and doing the second edit um, later on today, once I finish doing the first edit, and Hopefully I should have uh, the new improved version of Echo out by the end of this week. Um, this is probably going to be posted either just before or just after it goes up. So I'll probably have a message on screen right now where where my hands are, roughly letting you guys know whether or not it the, the KDP version of it has been released yet or not, um, and what the status is there. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that's that's basically what I've been doing at the moment. Um, I'm still finding KDP is a really good platform for my books to be on. Um, I've not necessarily, I mean, and I'm still not on the kind of, you know, look, I'm still selling a million books, but uh, but I'm, you know, I'm doing reasonably well. Um, since the start of the month, I've had consistent page reads, like every single day. I've had page reads, um, so that's, you know, Kindle Unlimited users, you know, reading. Um, I don't know how many, it's actually a lot harder now to tell how many people are actually reading because I've gone over, like, I've already gone over at this point in the month, the um, normalised page count um, for the colours I see, so I'm like, I have no idea how many people are reading um, at all. I've also sold a few copies of the book. So I think that may well be people who got Hyena Boy uh, during the free promotion of Hyena Boy. Um, and they are now, you know, moving on to the colours I see and, you know, things cross. If it is those, that's, that's great. That's a really positive thing. That's what I want to be happening. Um, so it's been a really great start to the month um, for what I've already got on, for what I've already got on there. Um, so it feels like the right time and I feel like I'm making the right move with, with Echo as well um, to get Echo transferred over onto there sooner rather than later. So fingers crossed, should be by the end of the week where I'm filming this, um, so before the week that this actually goes up. But, but like I said, there will be a message on the screen both when I did it before and probably a repeat now <laughs> um, to let you guys know exactly what's going on with it, whether or not it's been released yet, uh, whether I felt like I maybe need to do another sort of go through just to satisfy myself that everything was okay. Um, but yeah, no, it, it, it feels good. And um, actually going through Echo again, I'd forgotten how good Echo was. <laughs> um, I, I, you know, I, I always surprise myself with how good a writer I am. Um, I always get so enthusiastic about the projects, that I'm, especially, especially like the Never Rating books. I'm so enthusiastic about the Never Rating books. I'm like, oh my god, these are amazing books. I love these characters, everything like that. And now Echo was written during that that sort of point of time where a lot of the writing I was doing was just, I'm taking this over, I'm taking this over, I'm taking this over. Uh, I hadn't lost my enthusiasm necessarily, and Echo was a project that I definitely did care about, and I was definitely 
sort of more enthusiastic, but it was in that period of time when my enthusiasm for doing a lot of writing and my passion for writing was just sort of ticking over more than it was actually um, burning like it is now. Um, so it's actually amazing me just how good my writing still was, despite, you know, um, me feeling like I was less passionate at the time. I mean, I feel like I'm more passionate now. And going back through it, it's kind of like, you know, I, I was a good writer. There, there's a reason I wrote this book. There's a reason I released this book. There's a reason I cared about this book. Maybe I didn't have the burning passion that I have for the Never Rating series um, at this moment in time because, you know, my enthusiasm for writing has been rekindled. But there is a reason this is the, this is the first book that I published of the new publishing um, the new line of like trying to get my, my work out there and, and stuff like that. There is a reason why it was this book and it's because it is a good book. It is, you know, surprisingly good. And even though I kind of know what's, what's sort of coming, I'm like, oh, I've set this up really well. I've set that up really well. Actually, there is a little bit more of a mystery to this than I thought there was. Actually, there is a little bit more intrigue than I thought there was. Um, and that sort of like come from like stepping back a little bit and sort of not really thinking about it for a while and then going back to it again and going, Oh, you know what? There is a lot of interesting things going on below the surface here. This is this is actually really good. This is actually really nice. And then something that's kind of really helped emphasize that um, is just as I did, well, in a similar way to what I did with Hyena Boy, I've also reduced the chapter numbers. So we've got longer chapters and less of them. Um, the reason being is my old style of writing. Um, was all about short chapters um, and when I say short chapters I mean these are A4 page chapters so they, they would sort of like you know multiply up a little bit more um, when you sort of turn them into ebook pages um, sort of almost double the, the, the length of it pretty much um, but they, they were fairly short chapters because I at the time liked writing in short chapters, like writing in like, like writing in short bursts and stuff like that. Um, but since writing the Neverrated series and realizing that actually if I have a massive amount of, of story to tell, I will end up with like ridiculously numbered chapters if I stick with this short chapter format, <laughs> decided to increase um, the, the length of each chapter in order to reduce the number of chapters I have. Um, and, you know, this going forward is I'm going to go back and I'm going to relook at a lot of the books that I've, I've previously done. And when I kind of get them ready for, for editing, they're going to have longer chapters and less chapters, um, but longer chapters. Um, less chapters, but longer chapters. That's the line I want to look for. And I've, the one thing I've found doing that with Echo is that it, it's improved the pacing. As you wouldn't think. Um, it would, would work like that because you think, oh, it, it longer chapters will make it feel like, you know, it's slower because it's longer to get through each chapter. But no, it it really has increased the pacing where the story feels like it's paced a lot better. Um, certain details that before were like nine chapters are in are now in the third chapter or something like that. Um, so it feels like you, you're getting the information in a much more timely way and you're not sort of like waiting ages for this piece of information that sort of like a little bit game changing and stuff like that. So yeah, there it feels like it's better paced. Um, and I remember it being <laughs> uh, from when I was like, even from when I was doing like the, the, the Isla Reads, um, it, it feels better paced, it feels um, better polished now that I'm going through with, with the voice reader, I said I'm gonna go through and do another edit. Uh, with the voice reader after I finish this one just because it has picked up so much and I just want to you know make sure that I am absolutely happy with it um going forward um but yeah no I I am really glad that you know going back through this book I'm kind of going you know what this is this is even better than I remember it being and and feeling like you know what this this is absolutely was the right book to you know launch uh, or to start my you know, trying to release a book a year process. Um, I kind of wish that I actually started this editing process at the end of last year, but you know, with everything else going on, I mean, there being December and you know, having to do stuff with family and this, that, and the other, you know, I only had so much time, I only had so much energy, so something had to be put on the back burner. Um, 
and in some ways I'm kind of glad this was what was put on you know on the back burner so I, I could go into it fresh in the new year fresh pair of eyes go forward and you know be nice and, and enthusiastic about it um but yeah going through it I'm like wow this is this is good <laughs> I didn't remember it being this good um which you know I, I think as I said because it was written around that sort of time where my enthusiasm for writing wasn't as high as it is right now I'm not saying that you know and, and, and it, it you know it does it does make a, a kind of difference as to how you review your own work um when you don't feel as enthusiastic about something it can be hard to remember to motivate yourself into feeling enthusiastic about it um I mean I, I know there was passion there I know there was enjoyment there um and I do love Echo and I do love you know all the reasons behind why I wrote Echo and I do as I said I go into the story now I'm kind of going well I remember now why I like this story I remember why I like these characters I remember you know why I made these decisions, I, this, is, this is actually a lot better than I remember it being. Um, I'm a better writer than I give myself credit for. <laughs> um, but you know, when you when you find a project that you're suddenly really like, wow, um, enthusiastic about and really, you know, fiery burning passion about, um, which is what I find with the Never Eaten series, sometimes can be hard to remember that actually maybe you were still excited about what you were writing back then it's just this particular series captured your imagination in a completely different way so yeah it, it's really good for me to go back and to read echo and kind of go you know why you know what i remember exactly why this was the book that i felt had to be that book to publish at that point in time um, and i'm glad that i'm giving it a little bit more love and attention now and i can't wait for it to re-release um soon or to re-release by the time this goes up again <laughs> we'll, we'll know what's going on um so yeah it's it feels good it feels um really positive and and uh going into into the new year um to have made these these decisions and for these decisions to currently be paying off um it just feels like such a good such a nice positive um change and a positive step forward so i'm looking forward to releasing um echo soon i'm looking forward to finishing my current edit and to starting the, the second edit and then hopefully that will be it and it will be live fairly soon um and it's just yeah no i'm i'm feeling really good and really positive and i'm really happy that Echo is proving to be surprisingly, you know, something that was as good as I thought it was at the time, not realising that my, my passion would, <laughs> my, my passion for other books would make me doubt it. Um, but no, no, it, I, no I'm, I'm a better writer than I give myself credit for. <laughs> and Echo kind of proves that. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to getting the better edit of uh, Echo out there for you guys, um, hopefully fairly soon, hopefully by the time this video goes up, um, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I hope you guys have found this one interesting, um, I know this has mostly been like, oh just what's going on with Echo, let me update you about Echo, 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 Echo. without actually telling you anything about the plot of Echo. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have found this one interesting. <laughs> I hope you're looking forward to whatever it is I might be talking about next time. And I will see you guys next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.